I don't think I've told any of you this, but I was supposed to go to a Catholic school all the way from kindergarten to eighth grade. And today, in this edition of School Rants, I want to share to, I want to share to you all a story that is probably the reason why I'm not I, I didn't end up staying in that Catholic school. So all uh, so anyways, this story goes all the way back to probably I don't know 2005, 2006, uh, somewhere around there. Definitely one of those two years. So anyways, I, I went to a Catholic school after um, getting out of uh, pre-K, and long story short, I really liked the pre-K school, I really, really enjoyed it, and when I, um, and when I was told that I would be going to a, di a completely different school for kindergarten, I was crushed. I liked all the kids there, I loved the teachers there, and you know, it was just a lot of fucking fun, and was really, really sad when I was told that I had to leave and go to a different school for kindergarten, but anyways, you don't care about pre-K, and I'm sure all of you care about the story that I'm about to tell. Anyway, I make it to um, I, I make it to this school. It's it's literally fucking two minutes away from me. Like there's a church right by my house, and there's a school right by it. And you know, it was it was pretty perfect. You know, my mom can drop uh, could drop me off every morning. We didn't even have to take the fucking car. She could just walk me there, and, th and that's it. It's just a five minute walk, pretty much, to, from my house to this school. Anyways, uh, for the first. I don't know, month or so. Everything was cool. I liked the teachers. I liked the, the kids there for the most part. I socialized a lot too. You know, I was kind of quiet compared to a lot of the other kids in that in that class, but still... I, I still socialized a lot with the, with a lot of the kids. I, I made some friends. I even went on play dates to some friends to some friends' houses back then. You know, it was just a fun time uh, uh, in general. But um, anyways, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows though. <laughs> oh god. Anyways, um, there was this kid who uh, sat next to me one day, and um, at first, you know, he, he didn't do anything to me, we didn't talk at all, um, he was kind of, he liked to throw tantrums a lot, and uh, especially when he got a cloud, um, I should really explain what the fuck that means, um, if a kid is doing good overall during that day, they get a rocket for the day, and if they, if they accumulate five rockets at the end of the week, um, they, they, they get a little prize at, uh, on Friday, you know, the, 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 the teacher puts a little picture of a rocket next to your name, and if, if you get five rockets for the week, and you don't get a single cloud, a cloud means, you know, you're a bad kid, you did something wrong, you were misbehaving, anything of the sort, if you didn't get any of that for the whole week, then, um, uh, then you can, you know, you know, you get a nice prize, you get a snack, you get a toy, whatever the fuck, I, I barely remember the fucking prizes, because this is 13 years ago, anyway, um, so that kid got a tantrum every time he got a cloud, and that caused him to get even more clouds next to his name, and, uh, as you can imagine, that made him freak out even more, he liked misbehaving a lot, he didn't like sharing his toys when he played in the classroom, he didn't really get along with a lot of the kids, too, he even kind of, uh, he didn't, attack a kid but i remember him punching a kid because he got upset at that kid he was definitely a very fucking weird kid this guy but um anyways so um this is so anyways a uh, fast forward to when he started fucking with me um i was sitting next to him one day and i think i asked him a question i needed something from him i think i needed to borrow a glue stick for a little picture thing whatever the fuck we were making and then he clunked his head to my forehead you know, um, he didn't headbutt me. It didn't hurt or anything, but it was definitely annoying. And I was like, and I was like, stop doing that. Well, it was more like, yeah, stop doing that because you know I was a little kindergartner at the time, and you know I couldn't rationally say stop doing that. You know, so, you know you're annoying me. You know, all I knew to do at the time was whine and fucking complain. So that's what I did to him, and that got a fucking rise out of him. I saw him get this big fucking smile, and multiple times throughout the day. He would fucking clunk his forehead against my forehead, and I hated it, hated it, hated it so much. I even told the teacher, and uh, I, I told her exactly what was going on, and uh, all she did was give him clouds. And of course, he would throw tantrums over that. He really, really hated whenever he got a cloud, as I established a about a minute ago. But that didn't stop him. He still continued on, clunking his head against mine, and it annoyed the shit out of me. And you might be wondering, oh, why didn't you just move? Well, there was no other place 
place to move in the classroom because all the seats were filled up. And plus, uh, I don't know why the fuck the teacher didn't even think about swapping me with another kid, but I guess they didn't want this problem to persist with another kid. I don't fucking know. But I remember telling my mother, no one, uh, she didn't really do much about it. She told the teacher, and the teacher continued giving the kid clouds, and the kid freaked out, but that didn't change shit, as I established before, and the kid continued to fucking do it. And as you'd imagine, I was getting really fucking pissed off. I was almost at my wit's end with this kid. I mean, he kept fucking clunking his head against mine. And uh, I kept telling adults about this shit. I told my parents. I told teachers. Any kind of adult I could tell about this, I told them. And nothing was fucking done. Almost fucking nothing was done at all. You know, they, they kept punishing the kid. The kid would freak out, you know, and that would solve that would still solve absolutely nothing in the end. I didn't get any good advice from anyone. Uh, well, this is back when my dad was around and I was still really close to him. <laughs> I remember telling him about this and he was like, kick that fucking kid's ass. And, you know, I wasn't like that. I'm I, 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 Even back then, you know, I didn't like violence all that much. I never liked it. When I didn't Even back then, I didn't like it when I was yelled at. That would always make me have, have just fucking shut down. You know, I, I, in general, I hated, hated violence so much. It fucking irked me whenever I would see violence. Even on the TV back then, you know, of course I'm fine with it now. But back then, you know, violence just wasn't something I liked at all. And still, to an extent, don't like. Unless, you know, it's in a video game or movie or TV show and such. You know, when it's fictional, I don't give a shit. But anyways, um, so nothing was really done. You know, nothing helped the situation. Nothing stopped the situation. And I remember one day... One day, I went to, uh, I, I was going to one of my friend's houses, um, <laughs> I haven't fucking kept in touch with this friend in fucking years, but, um, anyways, I went over to his, fr his house, and I've already been to his house a few times, and it was a lot of fun. He had a big pool, we would hang out, you know, do shit together, whatever fucking, you know, whatever kindergartners did together, you know, uh, do all that shit. And one day, I went to his house, and he invited a friend. And I shit you not, this friend he invited over <laughs> at the same time he invited me over was the kid who was fucking bothering me to no end in class. And I thought I was in a fucking nightmare when I saw him at first. I'm like, is this a fucking dream? <laughs> like, uh, like, holy shit, this is not happening right now. And yeah, uh, and yeah, as you'd imagine, he still did the head clunking thing. And he even once, uh, it, you know, he kind of got violent. I mean, this didn't hurt or anything. It's not like he did it violently or hard or anything like that. But he hit my head against a chair. <sighs> And I was about ready to just take my father's advice and just beat him up, but, you know, I, I wasn't going to do that. Of course, you know, the mothers yelled at him, my friend's mom yelled at him, my mom yelled at him, his mom yelled at him. And, of course, he had a fucking meltdown when that happened. He was crying, he was sobbing, he was yelling and all that shit. And then he went home after that, and, you know, I thought, you know, maybe this will finally be the end. You know, my mom yelled at him, my friend's mom yelled at him, his mom yelled at him for that, and I was happy. I was looking forward to going back to school on that uh, on the following Monday, and, you know, looking forward to him not bothering me anymore, because I'm sure his parents... So just talk some sense into him. And I don't know, maybe they even smacked some sense into him, too. Who the fuck knows what happened <laughs> during that weekend after what, he, after what he did to me. So anyways, did he stop doing this to me? No. No. It still persisted. He still liked clunking his head against mine. And I was... <laughs> at, this is when I was at my wit's end. I just couldn't fucking stand it anymore. And to preface this, I'm not a violent person at all. I even I even mentioned this about a minute ago in the video. I don't like violence. I don't resort to violence. And I think only one other time in my life I ever got violent with a person. I mean, you really, really, really need to push my buttons to get me to the point where I would actually... Um, harm you. Well, not harm you. Not like, not like you know me just putting you, uh, putting you in the hospital or anything. But me, actually putting my hands on you. Actually, me, you know, trying to hurt you at least. You know, you really have to fucking get me to my absolute boiling point to to get me to that point. You know, you know, it's it's really really hard to get me to that point. Trust me, I'm not fucking around here. I'm I'm vehemently vehemently opposed to 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 having violence solve a situation. But this is one of those very rare exceptions for me. This kid actually succeeded to get me to that boiling point because I took my hand. Uh, I took my hand, put it on the back of his head, 
and fucking slammed his head down on the desk. And, yeah, he, uh, obviously, you know, the kid was crying really, really hard after that. I don't know how, uh, I don't know how badly I hurt him. I'd imagine it didn't hurt that much because I was a kindergartner, all right? I highly doubt I had the strength to actually give him a concussion or anything, but he was crying and I know it definitely hurt him and I saw a little mark on his head, but I didn't give a fuck at that point. I was just pissed off at this kid. I was tired of this kid fucking around with me, bothering me. I don't know if you really call this bullying, but I don't know if you want to use that term, bullying me. To an extent, you know, I was just fucking done with this kid, and I didn't care about getting yelled at the teachers, and I didn't care about getting yelled at my uh, yelled at by my parents. You know, my father, he didn't really care all that much. You know, he I took his advice. He told me to kick this kid's ass, and I guess in a way I did. You know, he, you know, he pretended to be pissed off at me in front of my mother, and he he pretended to yell at me and all that. But when my mo- uh, when my mother went to the other room, he was like, "Good job, kiddo. You you dealt with that. You, you dealt with that bitch." So for the next week or so, the kid, the rest of the kids in my classroom were scared of me. Even the kid who was bothering me was also scared of me. He didn't want to be around me. Same with the rest of the kids in the classroom. They didn't want to be around me. When I went around them, they left. They didn't want anything to do with me. And uh, I'm, I'm not saying this uh, as a way to, to say, oh, look at how badass I was in kindergarten. I dealt with a bully and I fucking slammed his head down. And after that, the rest of the kids were scared shitless of me. No, actually, I fucking hated this. I hated this a lot. I didn't like the fact that the kids, uh, that the other kids didn't want to be around me anymore. I didn't really have any friends anymore. No one wanted to talk to me because they were afraid of me. Again, I'm not saying they're afraid of me uh, in a good way. You know, I, I hated being feared, and this is partly why I'm opposed to um i'm opposed to using violence to solve a situation because i don't like the idea of being feared you know i'd rather you know have an actual friendship with someone you know not someone just respecting me or try uh, being my friend because they fear me in fear that i'll do something to them because to me that's not a real that's not a real relationship at all that person doesn't have any feelings of affection towards you or anything they don't want to be your friend they're just talking to you because because they fear, they're just trying to be nice to you because they fear what you're going to do to them. And to, and again, to me, that is not a real relationship. That is not a real friendship if anyone is friends with someone because they feel obliged to, because they're afraid that if they don't, that if they aren't friends with that person, that that person will do something to them. Again, that's just, that's just not how a friendship or any kind of relationship works at all to me. But anyways, I hated this. I I hated, you know, the kids not wanting to be around me. And even kids in other classes didn't want to be around me, too. Classes that I wasn't in, uh, you know, kids that I didn't interact with at all. You know, I, I guess, I guess this got, I guess word got around, you know, other kindergartners told, you know, the kids in my class told other kindergartners and other classes about this, I guess, because the kids that I never even fucking spoke to or ever seen aside from, you know, outside in the hallway... You know, they didn't want to be around me. They were afraid of me. And um, after about a week, you know, of this and me hating this, you know, I, I was told that I am that I was going to be going to a different school. And I didn't know, uh, I don't know, maybe, I'm more than sure that this has something to do with me being put in a public school. But um, yeah, <laughs> I was leaving that school. And I guess, you know, I guess maybe the teachers didn't want me around anymore. Maybe the school didn't want me around anymore because, you know, obviously Catholic schools are more strict about this shit. And when shit like this goes down, you know, violence and all that, they don't want that at all in their schools. So they're like, yeah, let's get this fucking kid out of here. He's, he's obviously a fucking nutcase if he, if he fucking smashed a kid's head, uh, smashed a kid's head down on a desk. So I left that school to go to another elementary school and I finished kindergarten there and I stayed in that elementary school up until fifth grade. And, you know, as much as, you know, I was probably in the wrong doing this to this kid, you know, I probably shouldn't have uh, took his head and smashed it down on the desk, you know, obviously that really wasn't, that probably wasn't the way to go about things, but I still view this, um... Uh, this situation as a blessing. Well, one, because it was a Catholic school, and, you know, I'm glad I dodged eight years of indoctrination over there. But also because my the, the elementary school I ended up transferring to, fucking amazing times. It easily, fr- that, that elementary school easily holds some of the best memories of my life so far. Holy shit, I met a lot of friends there, had a lot of fun at that school, 
and overall i i just love the experience so much and i'm would definitely relive it if i could but um yeah i'm glad i got the fuck out of catholic school though <laughs> I, I i you know i can't imagine staying in that school all the way up until fucking eighth grade you know, it wasn't it wasn't just till fifth grade, like a lot of elementary schools. It was up until eighth grade, up until you went to fucking high school. So that means I would have been in the same building up until 2015, seeing the same kids pretty much, same teachers, same everything. You know, that's just that just sounds fucking boring, honestly. I would hate to fucking I would hate to fucking be there, honestly. I don't know. Maybe I would have had a fucking amazing experience. Maybe even better than my experience in elementary school and some of middle school. I don't know, but. Honestly, you know, I'm, I kind of like how things turned out, and I'm sure the way things turned out are better than how things probably would have turned out had I never been kicked out of that Catholic school, but who knows? <laughs> you know, I probably would also be a Catholic, too, since, you know, they would have taught me... Uh, th 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 that school obviously would have had um, religious classes and all that shit, you know, again, just brainwashing the fucking youth. <laughs> Glad I fucking dodged that, holy shit, but anyways... Yeah, that's what happened. That's how I got kicked out uh, of element uh, of uh, Catholic school. More than likely, I don't know. I was never given the co a concrete reason as to why. I just all of a sudden was just thrown out of that uh, that uh, Catholic school. But I'm pretty, uh, I'm more than certain it was because of this. But anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye bye.